Panthers take over and down with 46 seconds left in the game. Here with uh, Coach Schmoke, head uh, football coach for Polytechnic High School. Um, talk to me about tonight's game, Coach. It's uh, first round of the playoffs. It's a big game. You guys are trying to keep that perfect season intact. Uh, you guys held the, the opposing team to uh, under 20 rushing yards. Talk to me about tonight's game. Well, you know, that, we knew that was a very good team coming in and uh, that they're stepping up from Division Four, and we're stepping down from Division 11 and, or 12 or 13 or whatever. And uh, we knew that it'd be a struggle, but we feel really good about our kids. We have just, you know, we have outstanding kids that are resilient. They're not the biggest, but they fly around and they work hard. They're very coachable. And, um, and our defense, our defense has been, has been money. It's just been great all year, and they stepped up again tonight. And, made things happen. Yeah, uh, your defense had uh, five interceptions, like I said, held them on the rushing. Um, you guys came out uh, strong uh, all, all three uh, aspects of the game uh, early in the first half. In the second half, it looked like you guys uh, struggled a little bit offensively there. Uh, what's the mindset of, you know, just continuing to stay focused and then make sure you close out that game? Yeah, you know, we knew we were going to struggle a little bit trying to run the ball between the tackles. And, uh, what are you doing? Um, we got some inside, outside, and that. And in the second half, we got in. We saw some things that we thought we could get through the passing game. We just couldn't capitalize on on them, you know. And uh, and we said we got to put the ball on the ground and just run clock. And but the kids were resilient. They took care of the football. Um, you know, I, I don't think we turned the ball over uh, tonight. And uh, you know, if, if you talk five interceptions versus zero, that's a pretty big part of the game. So the kids were were, were smart and they played within themselves. All right, uh, thank you, Coach, and uh, good luck moving forward into the season. Thank, thank you. you. I... Here with uh, Coach Lopez, head football coach for Pacifica High School. Uh, real quick, Coach, uh, talk to me about tonight's game on the road over here in uh, Pasadena. Yeah, it was a tough one for us. You know, I think our kids didn't come ready to play, uh, you know, and Pasadena Poly came ready to play. You know, it's a good squad, uh, and they did a little bit of confusing us early on, and, and uh, you know, it's tough to win a game when you have five turnovers, and, uh, you know, hats off to their defense. Their defense played really well tonight. And you guys showed a lot of heart uh, in the second half, coming back, making that a, a real close game. Talk to me about that. You know, we've got a good group of kids, and, and uh, they've battled their whole, you know, this whole season. And, and uh, you know, they're learning. They're young. We start eight juniors on offense. We start eight juniors on defense. So we don't have a whole lot of senior leadership. And so it took some time for them to settle in. And, and you know, we. We came back, like you said, in the second half, and we started to play like we've been playing. I thought our defense played lights out. I thought our defense played tremendous. I mean, our defense probably had more yards in the other direction than, than, than our offense did tonight. But, uh, you know, we had our opportunities, too, to score. We just didn't take advantage of them. So had, that's credit to Pasadena Poly. All right, Coach, uh, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Yep, thank you. All right, here with uh, Poly High's uh, Brady Carter. He, uh, 
had an interception, threw for a touchdown, and then uh, uh, had a, a touchdown reception, as well as uh, did some punting for the team. Talk to you about today's performance. Oh man, crazy. Defense came out, locked down. I don't know if they knew what hit them because we were really playing hard. Our offense did what they needed to do, got our blocks that we needed to. It was a great game. Playing all those positions, offense, defense, special teams, well, what's your mindset? <laughs> I mean, when you got like that many things to do, I'm just keeping my eyes focused on what I got to do, my like my own abilities, keep it within myself, only do what I do, contribute to the team, not like keep it a team game, and not take it away from myself. Nice, and uh, you had a nice little uh, uh, some rushes, and then you had that one rush where it was a, a fake punt, and you guys uh, advanced the ball downfield. Uh, do you guys uh, have that in your your routine or? Is that something you saw and you took on your own? I mean, that was that was half planned, half not. I saw I saw a hole. I saw it. my guy looked at me, tossed it to him. It really worked out nicely. <laughs> a little a little bit audible there though. <laughs> All right, and then to uh, having a performance like this tonight in the first round of the CAF playoffs, what's that mean? I mean, that meant a lot. Coming from D13, uh, Pacific come coming from D4. I think teams really is going to be surprised by what we can do. So I'm, I'm excited for the next round. All right, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Here with uh, Pasadena Poly's uh, defensive back, Will McConnell. You had uh, three picks on the night. One you took back to the house for a pick six. Uh, talk to you about uh, what you thought about tonight's performance. Uh, on my part? Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I thought I played pretty well, I guess. We had a good scheme going and um, watched a lot of film, so I think we kind of knew a lot of the time what was coming. And uh, just took advantage of opportunities the offense gave us. Okay, yeah. And, uh, Usually, you know, quarterbacks will make adjustments after they throw a pick or whatnot. What were you trying to do to keep the, the quarterback guessing and continue to make plays on the defensive side of the ball? Um, I guess we kind of switched up our defense um, between zone and man. And, um, but either way, we were bringing a lot of pressure. So I think that made it hard for him to make decisions um, and read our coverage because he didn't have much time. And so our defensive line did a great job for that. And this being the first round of the, the playoffs, uh, does that add any more pressure to you? Did you feel a little more excitement? Um, yeah, for sure. I felt we all felt really nervous before the game. Um, but I guess once you step on the field, you kind of lose that and you just get locked in. And so you don't really feel the pressure; you just feel the energy. And uh, going forward, what are you going to try, try to do to continue you guys' uh, perfect season moving into the playoffs? Um, we're just going to approach this game like any other. Watch a lot of film, um, practice hard, have a great week of practice, and um, just come out ready to play. All right, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck.